Welcome commanders to Elite Dangerous, a video to help those of you out enjoy playing this space sim on PC in VR, you find it very immersive, you think it's awesome, however you've got a bit of a problem when it comes to keyboard input entry, when you want to go on the galaxy map and search for a system, you can't do that, you can't see your keyboard because of the VR headset, you don't know how to touch type, so I'm going to show you what I do to get around this little problem, I will do some useful links in the description of the video and a pinned comment below as well as some timestamps to help you find your way around the video. We'll do a demonstration a little bit later on. So let's get on with it. I'll head over to my browser. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure we actually have a half decent microphone. Uh, I now use an Antlion mod mic, the wireless one, although they do a wide version as well. It's a massive improvement over the microphone that was built into my uh, headset, the headphones. So we see there's voice attack there, it's £8.99, whatever that is in dollars, it's not particularly expensive. However, before you buy it, just make sure that it's not a steam sale around the corner. We've got the winter sales coming up over Christmas, uh, so I wouldn't buy it right now. I'd wait a few days, see if it comes up on sale. Uh, saving us a few pounds or dollars will help us, because once we've got voice attack, we're going to go see the guys at HCS Voice Packs. So you can see that they cover... A number of games we call them modules for voice attack so we're going to cover elite dangerous today but they do star citizen star wars squadrons no man's sky and so on so i don't need to do a tutorial on setting up voice attack because they've already done it they've done youtube videos on these uh, voice packs in action and they've also got a discord server and the guys on there are incredibly helpful they're incredibly cool guys and they put a lot of work in so we thank them for all they do so we can see there's quite a few uh, packs for elite dangerous Many of them are voiced by pretty famous actors, uh, especially sci-fi ones. You see we've got Orion there, performed by William Shatner, who's of course uh, Captain Kirk. I own Vega, that's Brent Spiner, who was Commander Data. Uh, there's Legion there, performed by Michael Dorn, who was of course uh, Worf, the tactical officer on the Enterprise. So, buy whatever suits you, whichever's cheapest. If we could save a few pound on voice attack in the sales, Maybe they'll do sales here as well over Christmas at HCS Voice Packs. So we want to get the most for our money because you can actually use multiple packs within Voice Attack and Elite Dangerous, which would be kind of cool. So let's just go into Voice Attack. So I'm going to hold down left control, left alt, left shift and enter together. Those four keys simultaneously. Oh, we've got the keyboard commands off. Okay. There we go. So we can see we've got a keybinds creator. Now what that will do is fill in any blanks uh, that stop in the voice commands from working. It will not tinker with your bindings for your HOTAS or your joystick. It just makes sure that the voice commands we give will actually work in Elite Dangerous. Very, very helpful tool. Uh, we've got the crew. So this will show which packs that you own. I've got Kate and Vega. So you can activate them, deactivate them, adjust the volume of them, apply it and save your changes. So we'll just show ship assigned crew. So for my Anaconda, I could have Vega for the science officer or operations. So that would be Brent Spiner, data. And for tactical, if I owned Legion, I could have Wolf, who is obviously the tactical officer. So you can have a little bit of fun with that. You can just have one voice pack to do all of them, or you can split it out amongst multiple packs, which I think is actually pretty cool. So I don't need to save any changes. Okay. What we're going to do is make sure that it's listening to me. And we'll do the demonstration. We'll go into Elite Dangerous. Now, I'm not going to do it in VR. We'll just do it flat screen. It makes it easier for me to do the video. You'll know I'm giving a voice command because you're going to hear a report back from Vega, Brent Spiner, Commander Data. Galaxy map. Okay. Next tab. Keyboard mode on. Keyboard mode on. Give that a click with the trigger on my joystick. So we've now got the cursor. Sierra. Oscar. Lima. Click the trigger and there's the soul system where Earth is. So I've got, gonna push left on my uh, hat switch on the joystick that's brought me back. Give it a click, so that's all selected. Backspace. So what I can do now, uh, I'll search for another system but I'm not gonna put in its full name. Uh, just so we can get it done a little bit quicker. Bravo. Alpha, Lima, 
Alpha. November. Tango. Give it a click. So there's Balante. So what you want to do, especially in VR, is make use of bookmarks because it will save you having to keep doing these voice searches over and over and over again for common systems. Keyboard mode off. Keyboard mode off. Next tab. Next tab. So you see, I've added in quite a few. Uh, I'm usually based out of Ray Gateway, uh, but I spend quite a lot of time in Laplace Ring as well. So all of these places where the engineers are, you can add bookmarks for those just so you can just easily access them through your joystick or your HOTAS. Come out of the galaxy map. Prepare to launch. Aye, aye, Commander. Departure procedures initiated. Pre-launch diagnostic checks. Pre-launch diagnostic checks. Loading configuration. Engines online. Turn off night vision. Affirmative, Commander. We're just queuing up, waiting to leave, go out the slot. So the idea is just to let you see some of the, the voice commands we can do to make our life easier. Get clear and prepare to jump. Thrusters full burn. Divert power to engines. So it's full power to the engines. It's going to keep boosting. Stand by. Preparing for jump. Automatically gone into super cruise. Pretty awesome. Activate FSS. Acknowledged, Commander. Activate FSS. Okay, Commander. Those of you who like to be explorers and map the galaxy, you can do your FSS, full spectrum scanner. Full power to weapons. All power to weapons. Get the idea. Combat mode. Acknowledged. Deploy weapons. Weapons. Deploy cargo scoop. Deploying cargo scoop. Retract cargo scoop. Retracting cargo scoop. Deploy the fighter. Stand by for launch. Deploy fighter. Okay, Commander. Initiating SLF deployment. Telepresence online. Awaiting your orders. Recall the fighter. Automated docking ready to commence. Receiving telemetry. So I can get them to attack and defend all kinds of stuff. It's pretty Opening awesome. Hatch. So we'll leave it there, guys. Hopefully it's helped you out. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Whatever you choose to do after watching this. And as always, I'll see you when I see you next. Ciao for now. Docking completed. Hangar is secure, Commander.